A mother always knows. Who was it? That ring you got from my mum's spectacular. <sighs> yes, it is, isn't it? But stop trying to change the subject. Something must have happened for you two lovebirds to have split up. Stop giving her the third degree. You should be supporting her, not cross-examining her. I'm trying to help, Fergus. Maxine isn't getting any younger. She should be hanging on to a catch these days, not throwing them back in the river. Anyway, what do I know? You all right? No. I should have told Warren why. We've been through this. I could just tell him it was a stupid, drunken mistake. That can never happen. After all, you came on to me, remember? Look, we both know that yours and your mum's relationship has been fragile for a while now, but... Well, she's so happy right now, you don't want to destroy that, do you? It's time to drop this, never mention it again. You know, Warren, he won't let this go, he'll want answers. Leave it with me. I'll keep him away. Agreed? Maxine told me you'd split up. I thought I'd check how you were doing. I need to find us, sort this out. Why? Some things are just meant to be. Yeah, but this isn't Max. I need to see what she's got to say for herself. Is that wise? Do you want her to hurt you again? It's something not right. And I need to get to the bottom of it. No, Maxine's lovely. But she missed the day with the twins. Yeah, I know. But she must have had her reasons. Like I said, Maybe she's trying to give you the message that she's just not that into you. If she doesn't care, why should you? Look, we've got plenty of work on. Why don't you focus on that, not Maxine? Be nice to have our wallets bulging, hmm? be respected, looked up to. I was thinking possibly you could become the face of the business. What do you say to that? I say, yeah. Maxine will wait for now. I need to start earning again. Well, I've got a list of jobs as long as you're on, if you can handle it. What do you think? I'll get my coat. Silver. Hello, mate. I've got some good news for you. I can't wait to see the kids again. We had a great time, you know? Sienna, let me call you back. Hey, just a man. Not right now, Tom. Well, I'll only take a minute. The event of the year's about to be happening. The hut is relaunched. Max, wait. I don't want to talk to you. I've said it's over. You don't get to treat me like this. I want to know why. I've told you. We're just not suited. What are you talking about? Me and you were great together. Oh, Warren, I can't be around you. What did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. So, tell me, what's happened? No, I love... Don't. Don't say that. You'll make it so much worse than it already is. I love you. I know you do. But I don't love you. I don't believe you. Me and you are a team. I know when something is real. So are you going to tell me what is going on? Look, I know it is killing you just as much as it's killing me because I can see it in your eyes. Warren, look. I slept with someone else. Who? No, Warren. Maxine, I want to know his name. There's no point because it's never going to happen again. Yeah, because he won't be able to when I get my hands on him. Tell me who it is! You don't know him! In fact, I don't even know him either. But I know you, Maxine. And I know that you're not the kind of girl to sleep around with some random guy. And when did this even happen? 
You've been with me almost every single night. Well, the two of you are talking. That's good. Perfect pair. Look at you. She'll kill me for saying this, but she's only got eyes for you. Not from where I'm standing. All those extra hours that you've been staying at work with Sammy. You weren't working, were you? What? Yeah. Warren, don't do anything stupid. Why is he talking about Sammy? I need to see it now. So you were sleeping with someone? How could you do that, Maxine? Mum, this is none of your business. What do you think you're doing? Where is Sammy? If this is about the rent, I thought I'd made myself quite clear. I'm not paying it until the damp is fixed. I couldn't give a toss about your damp. Where is he? Is he upstairs? What's going on? It's Warren. What have you done? He, he wouldn't drop it, so I had to tell him that I'd slept with someone. You better not mention my name. Of course I didn't. But now he's got the wrong end of the stick and he thinks it's Sammy Malik. <laughs> well, Samuel just set Warren straight, tell him it wasn't him. Do you really think that Warren's going to listen to anybody when he's in that kind of a mood? He's gone to beat him up. Why didn't you just keep your mouth shut when I told you? Right. We have to get to Warren before he gets to Sammy. Fine. Off to you. He's not in there. He's not in the court either. This is a complete waste of time. I don't even care about Sammy. Well, I do. This is all my fault. You look for him then. I've got business to attend to. Business? Or businesses? You see, I found some very odd payments going into your other company. So if Warren does something to Sammy and the police get involved, do you really want them going through your accounts? Where else is there? Where we should have looked in the first place. The Maliks. Sammy and Maxine haven't been sleeping together. If they had, I would have known. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Look, Warren, why don't you just go and I'll get Sammy to contact you as soon as I hear from him. Please put that down. It's Imran's most prized possession. It was my late husband's. Ah. Uh... Oops. Warren, you need to leave now. I am going nowhere until Sammy has paid for what he's done. Miss Bell, are you OK? Of course I'm not OK. Look, I know you're angry, but this is not the way to handle things. I'm a respectable businessman. You can't just break into people's houses and threaten them. We're professional. Warren Fox, you're under arrest on suspicion of causing criminal damage. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I've heard it all before. Oh, I'm sure you have. You must know it off by heart by now. What have you done? Destroyed everything! 